when we first came together in Ethiopia in 2011, we developed a vision for what our global movement could achieve. We still have much to do, but we have come far in a relatively short time. We managed to get the global community from the UN, governments, donors, civil society organizations, academia, you name it, to come to understand that child marriage is harmful, not only to girls, but to families, to communities, to our society in general. As an agenda, it is already on the top of development and social change. But where we have not done so well, I believe is to bring this message back home. I'd like to see not only national pacts in which you have exactly government, private sector, non-for-profit organizations, religious organizations, academia, NGOs, parents associations, and you name it, all of them taking responsibility for change. We have to remember, change will happen when we touch the millions of families where girls are. It is a community issue, but at the end, it's the parents, father and mother of these girls who make the decision how to allow her to flourish, how to keep her at school much longer, how to allow her to make a decision when and with whom she wants to get married, how many children, if at all she wants to have children. All these decisions are made at family level. So before we are conscious that we are touching the millions of families, particularly in those regions and districts where child marriage is very deeply embedded practice, we will not see the change. We need to keep not only pressure, but we need to keep educating in a sustained way all those who are involved in making decisions about the life and the future of girls. We are part of a family. We want you to take courage and face whatever are the odds you deal with on a daily basis, knowing that you are part of a powerful chain of solidarity, of hard work, in which we know defeat is not a choice. Be well. Be strong, and you know, we are millions, and we are moving in waves. <laughs>